Excuse you. Excuse. Wait, uh, maybe you could help me. Now you look like you got a ways to go before you hit bottom. All the beds are taken tonight anyway. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm looking for someone. You are or you're not? I'm, or am. Uh, relative? I, I know pretty much everyone here. No, it's uh, uh, the shrink. His name is uh, Dr. Cameron Lewis. He's a psychiatrist. I believe that he volunteers here. And I'm sure he probably thinks I'm going to need therapy coming in here so late and, and asking for a favor. But uh, it's, the clock is ticking on a friend of mine. Although he's, he's a friend of mine. He's a lover? A, never, never. He's uh, like an acquaintance, but bigger. In any case, he needs help. And, uh, you know, between you and I, I don't put much stock in shrinks, but, uh, you know, they have been useful to me on, a, on occasion in some of my cases. Doctor? Lawyer. Indian chief. Sorry? Word association. You were saying? I'm done. Excuse me. You're cold. You don't really know me well enough to say that. No, as in heading away from what you're looking for. Oh, I, I know that game. I, I just don't really want to play that game right now because I'm, I'm tired and, and my feet hurt and I forgot to eat dinner. Oh, I, I think I've got a candy bar here somewhere. Oh, God. No, no, that's okay. You know what? You look like you could use a nice hot meal and what? a bath. Well, yeah, I could do either. You'd be disappointed. Would not. Would too. Would not. You're not going to follow me, are you? No, this may be your last chance to talk to this Lewis guy. I'm him. Hope you like nuts. This is good. Good. Why are you dressed like that? Because these are my clothes. Oh, sorry. You don't like my clothes? No, I, I, I mean, yes, I, they're fine. I, I just thought that you were trying to blend in, you know, sort of inspire trust with these people, stream of consciousness, that's, never mind. Tell me about this Luke. Luke, well, you know, wow, that's a tall order. Where does one start? Not at the beginning because we don't have enough time. I will simply tell you that he's unstable. In the best of circumstances, he had a, a tragic loss recently. His wife had a psychotic break, but she blames himself. He thinks he's responsible because he couldn't stop it, and he's angry because she's lost, and he's walked away with his life and, and his sanity, such as it is. And he's hell-bent on making everyone around him and himself pay. And can you explain one thing to me? I'll try. Why, a woman such as myself, who swore that she was not going to help this man anymore, or anyone else who was going to get in the way of her just sitting at home and waiting for her beautiful daughter to come into the world, why I'm sitting here in a homeless shelter at this hour of the night with a very uh, bizarre, slightly, i got to forgive me again, unkempt psychiatrist trying to help some thick-headed potential flight risk arsonist who would rather throw a lieutenant, a police lieutenant, across the floor than, than, than try to handle his grief in a normal way. Not that I'm saying normal is something to strive for, Archie. Rapid cycler with schismic tendencies who charges windmills to distract herself from intrinsic issues of denial. Pardon me? Sorry, you asked. It's all right, you know, you can admit it. Admit what? There is no Luke. You're the one who's looking for counseling. I'm not looking for counseling. I do not need a psychiatrist. And you, sir, are no gentleman. And apparently are not a very good judge of people. Well, you don't exactly fit into a mold. All right. This isn't about me. This is about Luke. And there most definitely is a Luke. Who is facing prison, not to mention a death by personality, unless an honest-to-God licensed <laughs> therapist can convince a judge that he is in need of psychiatric care and not punishment. Although there is one catch. He'll refuse to see me. Which I'm beginning to think would be wise on his part. A man is in trouble, and we have until midnight to help. And how would you define we? 